channel. I am Love and Fragrance and I thank you so much for tuning in. I have two particular fragrances here that I would like to bring to you and they are by none other than the iconic Mr. Jimmy Choo himself. And Mr. Jimmy Choo has some lovely fragrances but he doesn't necessarily have a specific fragrance house or he isn't exactly a perfumer. But I want you to understand that Mr. Jimmy Chu happened to be a fashion designer. So fragrances are a part of his fashion design. And he has several fragrances in his collection. I don't think it's exceptionally extensive considering some, but he has ex a, quite a few fragrances in his fragrance collection that's also sold on his particular website, which you may not see an extensive collection of them there on his website. I'm not certain of exactly the magnitude of his fragrances, but based on his website, there's an exceptionally limited amount of fragrances that he has introduced. But I have two of his particular fragrances here in my fragrance collection, and I would like to share them with you today. And the ones that I have happen to be Mr. Well, this one is Mr. Illicit. I call him Mr. because the name of it's Illicit and it's by and it's tagged still on there. Jimmy Choo. Can you see it? Jimmy Choo. But it looks a little bit masculine, but however, this here is an EDP and it's a woman's fragrance. Even if it looks masculine, it isn't. The container itself is a very hard looking industrial type of design but I think it still has a great deal of femininity applied to the container the bottle itself and this the other one happens to be Jimmy Choo Eau de Toilette and it's a toilet spray and it has a lot more femininity applied toward the container I think I think the container is very lovely upright even though the caps are identical just a little different in the color distinction but i've seen this particular fragrance i think in a, a rose color so apparently they are of the same collection because the container is the same and here we have like almost like a crystal looking container for the glass a bottom part of it it's like a glass crystal type of uh, design applied toward this here container which have to be like edged glass and I think there's a lot more creativity invested into the art design of this particular bottle itself which makes it much more to me it's less industrial looking and more I would say eloquent overall considering if you want to make a comparison in the containers themselves that's my perception regarding the containers now when you take into consideration of fragrance the real i'm not exactly comparing these fragrances i'm letting you know that they are so distinctive in their own individual right and the reason i classify them as being distinctiveness to more my perception happen to be the fact that i perceive these fragrances as being designed for specific occasions within specific seasons okay based on my examination of these fragrances i can't wear both of these fragrances any time of year apparently they are designed for specific seasons throughout specific times of year because based on the notes that are presented in these fragrances that's the only thing that make them very distinctive toward me every fragrance literally happens to have its own individual cre creativity based on the amount of flavors and spices and which originates the notes that they apply within the origination of the fragrances which creates the scent. I want you to understand that they are specifically designed for specific occasions based on the type of aroma and the fragrance and the notes that's applied toward this, these fragrances. And it's very distinctive to me. I couldn't put this one anytime I want. You want to know why I couldn't put this one anytime I want? It's because of the scent overall. This particular fragrance happened to be named Illicit and it evokes a spirit of audacity 
it's extremely intense exceptionally intense to the point where it leaves you with the awakening of your senses in other words it's one of those fragrances that you would wear during a very 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 i would say dark moment i would say during the winter the deep cold winter months because it's more stimulating it stimulates your senses it awakens your senses and it's something sort of, to some extent hypnotic when i say hypnotic to the point where it elevates you innately and it's a feminine floral fragrance it's exceptionally floral but it's like the very more deepened floral notes they aren't like the soft gentle floral notes the more deepened the more concentrated floral notes in other words it has a little bit of masculinity to it toward me in other words i think this would be easily transferable over into a unisex type fragrance which i don't have very many of those i don't know i don't think i have any unisex fragrances in my collection i have a couple of males I have some females, but I don't have anything literally that I would classify as unisex. But in the overall, my my honest opinion regarding this particular fragrance has to be that I would consider it to be unisex because of the stimulation which originates from this fragrance. It doesn't have a lot of alcohol content in it, but the top notes predominantly consist of a great deal of ginger and roses. But when you spray this and you get a dry down of this particular fragrance, you don't get that type of aroma. I don't. I There may be other notes applied toward the top notes that make it a lot more, I would say, intensified. In other words, it elevates itself. But when it elevates itself, it doesn't flat down and dry down into something more gentle. It remains on the surface of that coarse type of aroma that you attain from this and it also has a great deal of scent of jasmine i think that would be like in doing the dry down process it has some jasmine notes in the dry down process of this fragrance that i find unique very unique very unique and very distinctive and it isn't like a typical fragrance that i have smelled that i can honestly say Oh, I love this. I love the aroma. I love the aroma. You have to have a nose for this particular fragrance because it's not one of those gentle, sweet, calming fragrances that make you have an admiration for it or it appeals to you instantly. You have to, it doesn't appeal to you instantly. You have to have a nose for this fragrance and you also have to have an environment for this particular fragrance that's how I, I classify this one as being more appropriate for those dark cold bitter winter months when you want to have a pleasant aroma but you want something that's going to have that staying power that's very enduring and very enticing and also Elevating it elevates your spirit. In other words, it evokes situations where you want to give it a flare of elevation. It elevates you. Okay, so therefore, I'm telling you right now, based on these particular notes, you have also the middle notes consist of like jasmine and several other notes, but the base notes are the main pinnacle of this particular fragrance because of the fact that it. It's very obvious in this fragrance that it has some notes in it that's supposed to give it a hint of appreciation, which would soften the fragrance up a little bit from those other dark notes that it has applied in here. And that would be your base note of honey and amber. Amber makes it, gives it that twist of calmness and gentleness, but it doesn't have an excessive amount of that applied toward it so therefore I, like during the winter months when it's very and exceptionally cold outside and you have that atmosphere where you want to smell luxuriously you want to smell elegant you want to smell luxurious but you have to take into consideration that fragrances consist of 
time frames as well where there's a specific time and place that a fragrance should be worn and I take into consideration that this particular fragrance should only be worn during a period in your life when it is essential that you're going to need some stimulation and this grants you an exceptional amount of stimulation when you wear this particular fragrance because it can allure itself because you have on so many layers. So you're gonna need a great exceptional amount of intensity with this particular fragrance because it's hard and it's dark and it penetrates itself exceptionally bold in your particular, on your particular body. As it dries down and throughout the entire process of wearing this fragrance, you're gonna find it be very bold during the exceptional winter months. So you'll find it more pleasurable during that time frame in your life and in comparison to the other one, Jimmy Choo EDT. Um, you take this into consideration that this particular fragrance right here is it appears to be very, very feminine just by looking at the container. It's, it's definitely a very feminine and a very light fragrance and it's more appropriate for <clears throat> those summer months. When you take into consideration when the most appropriate time to wear this particular fragrance because it has that allure of exceptional amount of femininity unlike the Jimmy Choo which I classify as being appropriate for unisex because of the aroma that projects from here and honey that isn't the case with this particular one right here because this here Jimmy Choo EDT perfume spray represents an exceptional amount of femininity and this particular femininity happened to be very luminous and very dazzling and very attractive and appropriate for any woman overall and it's very uh, captivating. It's captivating because you're drawn to overall this here edged glass container and the fragrance in here happens to send an exceptional exquisite message toward Anyone that's desiring to attain this here particular fragrance, it sends a message of modern. It has an extensive modern fruity aroma applied toward this fragrance that will leave you evolved in a very, very delicate, daring, a captivating, sensual moment with this particular fragrance because as it began to dry down on your skin is you'll find it to be exceptionally vibrant in other words it's uplifting and it lifts your spirit from the aroma because you get that light delicate strength from this particular fragrance you get that light delicate scent from this particular fragrance and it's a scent that's very very sensual and it appears to have an exceptional amount of layers applied to this and that grants you that layer of sensuality within it and the notes in this fragrance come to you with a very fruity floral type of notes on the top notes that elevates a tone of modernization and also for your middle notes which are your heart notes you are going to discover an exceptional amount of green notes that also elevates uh, a scent of ginger with this particular fragrance as well and your base notes you're going to discover an exceptional amount of tea roses in the base note and a little bit of hint of sandalwood because this fragrance comes to you and an exceptional amount of delicacy applied to it an exceptional amount of delicacy, delicacy because it's very soft it's gentle and it's recommended i personally find this fragrance to be more highly appropriate for summer spring wear because for the amount of scent that you attain from this you will find it to be very appropriate for spring and summer wear because it's light it's delicate it's airy and not only that it gives you a refined refreshness appeal that you will find very inviting and it flows and it has this here strong, light, delicate scent that dries down on your body, but yet penetrates itself and elevates itself and it gives that allure throughout the room and throughout the air. It's very complimentary because of the tone and the notes that's a 
applying to this is very complimentary and very detectable on your body. And out of the two of these right here, I love a, I love a soft, delicate scent. But I also every now and then prefer something that has an allure of boldness and intensity. It gives you a spirit of awakening, which grants you that magnetism with this particular fragrance here. And I feel that it's specifically designed for winter cold periods within your life, especially when it relates to the weather. And I find this one in relation to spring and summer. And I find it to be most appropriate for those times in your life because of the fact that it's more modernized to me and it's more appropriate and delicate and it's more appealing. So I highly recommend both of them, but please take into consideration they both must be worn at specific times of the year during specific seasons in order for you to attain your maximum appreciation with these particular fragrances. So. I highly recommend Jimmy Choo to you, but just take into consideration of what time frame you wear your fragrances. And I thank you very much for listening. So you have a wonderful evening. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.